Hello all, in this video we will be seeing about progestogens. Progestogens, pro plus gestogens. Gestogen is related to gestation that is pregnancy. So progestogens are hormones concerned with pregnancy. These are steroidal sex hormone and the most important one is progesterone. You will see this progesterone derivatives in many oral contraceptive pills, pregnancy related medications used to treat threatened abortions. So what are progesterogens? They are steroidal sex hormone secreted mainly by corpus luteum in females and later on by pl placenta in a pregnant woman. So what is corpus luteum? During the process of ovulation, a mature ova is released from the ovarian follicle. Corpus luteum is a group of cells that remains in the follicle after ovulation. This, this corpus luteum secretes high concentration of progesterone after ovulation and immediately after fertilization. Once fertilization occurs and embryo is implanted in the uterus, placenta also secretes progesterone. This helps in the maintenance of pregnancy as well as for the growth of fetus. Adrenal cortex also secretes small quantities of progesterone. In male, testis also secretes small quantities of progesterone. What are the physiological role of progesterone? Progesterone is often called as a hormone of pregnancy. Progesterone supports gestation. That is, it plays an important role in the implantation of embryo, embryogenesis and growth of fetus. That is, in the maintenance of pregnancy. Another important role of progesterone is in the female menstrual cycle. Next, we will see the chemistry of progesterone. Progesterone contains a total of 21 carbon atoms. That means it belongs to pregnant class of steroid. What you see in the screen is the pregnant nucleus. It contains 21 carbon atoms. In addition to that, it, it also contains a methyl group at C10 and C13. It also contains a 2 carbon side chain at C17. It belongs to 5 alpha series. That is 5 alpha series. That is the hydrogen atom at the 5th position is below the plane. So it is 5 alpha pregnant. And this is a structure of progesterone. You can see the 21 carbon skeletal system in progesterone that is pregnant, it belongs to pregnant series. The important structural features of progesterone are it contains two keto groups, one in ring A at third position. and second keto group at C20 carbon atom. Then the second structural feature is, an, is the unsaturation. It contains a double bond in ring A at the fourth carbon atom that is between 4 and 5. The IUPAC name for progesterone is 4 Pregnine, N-E-N-E, -E, 3, 20 dion. The basic carbon skeleton in pre is pregnine, that is an alkane. But progesterone contains a double bond, so it is an alkene. So the A-N-E of pregnine is replaced with E-N-E. And 320 dion refers to the two keto groups at 3 and 20. Next is the 
physical properties of progesterone progesterone exists as white or yellowish color powder or crystals it exists it is a diamorphous substance that is it exists in two crystalline form one is the alpha form and the other one is beta form alpha form is prismatic with a melting point of 128 degrees centigrade and beta form is needle shape with a melting point of 121 degree centigrade next is the solubility it is a hydrocarbon containing a keto group so there are no polar functional groups hence it is insoluble in water but very soluble in organic solvents like chloroform freely soluble in alcohol sparingly soluble in acetone ether etc now coming to the chemical properties of progesterone it is a carbonyl compound it contains two keto keto group so it shows the characteristic reactions of carbonyl compounds it reacts with hydroxylamine to form oxymes and with dinitrophenyl hydrazine to form dinitrophenyl hydrazone next is the storage progesterone is affected by alkalis and also by light hence it should be stored in well closed light resistant containers to the uses of progesterone progesterone is referred as hormone of pregnancy that is it helps in the maintenance of pregnancy and also it decreases the contractility of uterine smooth muscles thereby preventing premature labor hence it is used in the treatment of habitual abortion or threatened abortion it is also used in dysmenorrhea that is painful or difficult menstruation in the treatment of dysfunctional uterine bleeding or abnormal uterine bleeding it is the uterine or vaginal bleeding not during the normal menstrual cycle it is also used in endometriosis endometriosis is the growth of endometrium that is a normal tissue lining of the uterus growing outside the uterus it is a very painful condition progesterone and its derivatives are also used in certain oral contraceptive pills what you see on the screen is the certain preparations of progesterone micronized progesterone capsules are available the very small particles of progesterone helps in the absorption of progesterone from the gastrointestinal tract and that that uh, uh, second one is a hydroxy progesterone caprovate it is a derivative of progesterone it contains a hydroxyl group at 17th position and it is converted into a caprovate ester and that is used in uh, intramuscular injections so that's all about progesterone thank you